quite interesting times. I received quite a few letters about the new Canadian gun laws. I don't pretend to actually understand them fully, but it's probably worth mentioning that some kind of new laws been proposed that law-abiding citizens and dealers will no longer be allowed to import handguns. Uh, they call it a handgun freeze. So a lot of people sent me their opinion on that. And that would mean that the law-abiding citizens would be um, unable to bring firearms into the country, I guess, which is the same um, as it is for criminals who are currently not allowed to bring guns into the country, but <laughs> seem to do so. Anyway, I'm not sure how that all unfolds, but I guess please keep writing me and I'll see. And I mean, maybe the law won't pass and then I guess laws pass and then new governments can theoretically um, remove those laws. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Anyway, very interesting concept. I haven't heard of that before. And it seems kind of counterintuitive because I think all the handguns are registered already. But anyway, please tell me more. And uh, what are we talking about today? Toggle actions. A lot of people were asking me about the Pedersen rifle, which I actually don't have here. They're very hard to acquire. The Pedersen was one of the competitors, uh, you know, at that time when the Johnson and the Garand and others were competing for first place in uh, military sweepstakes in the US. Of course, the Garand won. Pedersen had a toggle action um, that worked out the top, a lot like the Luger. So I guess we should probably show you a toggle action. Uh, this is a Luger carbine, and you can see how it takes quite a bit of force, but the action is kicked back by the shell, and the um, recoil forces are used to both operate the mechanism and absorb the shock of, of the cartridge and and some gas is moving backwards. And the Luger toggle was excellent. Uh, this one um, I've used, I've even, even used this for hunting, I think I mentioned it to you. And of course you have to use full power loads with, at least with this Luger, which was made in 1936. Um, I guess I should show it to you more, but I don't want to dwell on the Luger. They're all about the same. I mean, the Luger carbines, this one has a longer barrel and um, removable buttstock. I mean, they're really cool, really nicely done. Steel butt plate, decent piece of walnut. Anyway, we'll set that down um, and turn to an entirely different type of firearm. And you can see here we have the toggle action again with links. And uh, this one, um, ISSC SPA, SPA caliber 22 long rifle. Somewhere I read it's made in Germany or Austria. And what an excellent rifle. We, I think, reviewed this one out in the bush once. Um, shot it all day long and no problems. And yet it was sold to me as a as a problem rifle. Um, I might have had to take a Dremel to the extractor, uh, but this is going back a couple of years. Anyway, a couple of seconds and uh, of work and it was work, working perfectly. Of course, the 22 offers no resistance and uh, this would be an ideal mechanism for, you know, biathlon shooting. And if it feels, if it sounds slick, it's because it is, it's, it's, very easy to operate and this um, bolt handle um, you know if it was pink it would remind me of the um, uh, Schmidt Rubin or something like that but what a handy little rifle the receiver is aluminum but I didn't notice any galling or anything like that sometimes when you have steel running in aluminum that kind of thing can happen uh, but not for this rifle or at least not for me and it came with some mags. Anyway, that's another example, very recent example um, of the toggle action. And then I guess the next one I should show you because you, you could see that the, the Luger carbine was, was running vertically and this is running horizontally. Um, these links, of course, 
are wonderful because they collapse so that you don't have to pull the bolt backwards. That means you can get the cartridge out. Same with the Luger carbine. We'll set this one aside. Here's one that not everybody's aware of, but I have to be careful. Um, this is Winchester 1873. Uh, wonderful rifle. I should say it's a reproduction made in Japan. And it has these fantastic removable side plates. Um, I wish uh, more rifles could be so conveniently um, the internals accessed. Anyhow, you'll see um, it's tricky because these, these link pins and, and linkages actually fall out very easily. So what I did is I, I uh, just for filming, I crazy glued the side plate on this side of the rifle end. So hopefully this will work and you'll see it collapse and and um you know it's got all the parts of a of a lever action that you'd be familiar with and it goes so it goes from extreme strength i mean we're not talking um mauser strength but enough strength for in this case 357 magnum and back in the day it was 4440 and 3840 and cartridges like that uh, probably started with black powder cartridges but you can see I, I I always admired this design just for its simplicity, even though it was weak. Um, and there are custom outfits that sell uh, linkages. Again, I don't study these kinds of things, but they sell linkages that make the action work faster. So that's the 1873. Um, so we had the Patterson, which worked out the top. That was a vertical work operating um, toggle action. And massive. I mean, it worked with, I think it was a 276 Patterson cartridge, uh, which was about the same as 30 out 6. Some people would say less powerful or more powerful, but that's another discussion. Yeah, you can see it was starting to starting to slide out. Um, but just in case you missed it, yeah, it's good. Long, fairly long hammer fall on these. Oh, of course, I can't do that, but there. But. Um, well, actually, one of the most fun guns, truly, Tone, is an 1873. I don't know if they still offer them, uh, but fantastic rifle. And then here's one, again, a kind of a toggle action. I mean, I said it was a toggle action, and then I put it on the table, and then I was sort of just getting ready to film and wondering if it actually is a toggle action. But uh, this one you probably won't find. I'll flip it around. And you can see that it is a Finn biathlon rifle. And uh, they made very few of these. Most of the time when you see a biathlon rifle, it's these days it's going to be an Anschutz. Although there are some uh, Russian rifles as well. And I think the Russian ones are actually a toggle action. Uh, but, uh, you know, I can't get those. So anyhow, um, I'll show you how this works. Uh, this is a sort of a cyclax stock it's not wood it's, it's this must be from the 70s or so uh, i bought it and i was told that they were very few made which i don't doubt i think uh yeah top eject uh what i call a wire trigger the trigger is probably one of the lightest triggers which to me is uh i don't know unusual but the, maybe the rifle was used for target work you know, after biathlon days, because, you know, you're gasping for breath, you wouldn't think it would be a delicate trigger, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyhow, um, similar actually to the, um, to the other 22. So here's how this one works. I would have to say this, this is a super intelligent action, but most guns from Finland are super intelligent. Something about the people, I guess. Um, you can see what they've done. It's, it's really clever. So this square piece of steel um, kind of does away with some of the links and gives the mechanical advantage to the operating handle and the bolt. And this is all very um, contained, controlled, and, and you can feel the strength of this. This is an unusually strong and smart action. And I'll just do it so you can see the bolt moving. And of course, it's the location of, of the 
points that when when I was working on the falling blocks, um, you know, trying to build them, uh, that's what it always boiled down to. Where where do things happen? At what moment in time does a part collapse and move aside, and so on and so forth? Uh, wonderful, wonderful action. And um, I haven't shot it much, just um, casually. Uh, but of course, this is a magnificently accurate gun, and if somebody knew what they were doing, uh, they could probably return to biathlon. Um, I was lucky to find it. This is where the spare magazines go. That's what these cavities are for. And it has, you know, typical target pistol grip. Um, I heard different stories about what these holes are for. Maybe you know in the stock, but... Um, Altogether, very fascinating rifle and definitely, again, worth owning. This one, I guess, has won something. Um, I think I think I made a video on the on the small um, Anschutz rifles, the four millimeters, and this one reminds me of it just because somebody obviously did a lot of shooting and won some awards and so forth. And you can see something here, and you know, all of this would would bear researching to find out what's what and where this ha all happened. But I just haven't had the time. But yeah, wonderful rifle. So you can see if this is a, a toggle action, uh, which it probably is. Uh, it, it's um, one of the most unique applications. And as far as um, lever actions, I think it's obviously this was the most successful and people it, it's kind of disappeared until that Austrian um, 22 came out um, this by the way has a lever lock down here in case you're not familiar with this rifle uh, I'm not I'm not even sure if you can get these in Europe or you know what's happening with firearms with all these um, proposed laws and 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 existing laws it's kind of uh, challenging to keep track of what's what in every country, uh, to say the least. Anyhow, this, uh, um, you know, out of all these, the most affordable is this one, and um, definitely another 22 uh, worth op owning. And if you wanted to have a toggle action, uh, which they interest a lot of people, a lot of people buy guns just for the action, this would be the one to get. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. It's something that. Um, really you wouldn't think you could make a video about it but on the other hand it's a it's a unique way of operating a firearm mechanism I'm not sure there's ever been a, a toggle action shotgun but probably anyhow thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you again next time take care